Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the island of Tenerife and here I have some pineapples from El Hierro. Pretty much all the pineapples in the Canary Islands will be from El Hierro and from nowhere else. Also a lot of the pineapples which you could buy in Spain for a long time were from El Hierro. There used even to be a ban on importing pineapples to the Canary Islands just like with the bananas. They wanted to protect the local farmers and also they did not want any diseases to spread into the Canary Islands. So why are all the pineapples in the Canary Islands from El Hierro? Well, you to understand that you have to know that the island of El Hierro is quite small. It's the smallest of the main Canary Islands. It's pretty dry, not one of the driest, but dryish. And it's literally the end of the world. Why literally? Well, the first globe the Romans constructed about 2000 years ago showed the Ciro Meridian going through El Hierro. El Hierro was the most western part of the world known to the Romans. And so they literally made it the end of the world. They knew that the world is round, that the earth is a sphere. But the westernmost parts of the world they knew was El Hierro, so they put the Ciro Meridian there. They did not think El Hierro is the end of the world, but it was literally the start of the calculations and of the mapping of all geographs in the world, or at least in the western world, for about 1,800 years. Since Roman times until the 19th century, somewhere towards the end of the 19th century, Britain had become so powerful they just introduced a new system of mapping the world, which was pretty much the same as the old one, just that they said the end of the world is not El Hierro, but the center of the world is London. And since the, and since the observatory is in the suburb of Greenwich, that's where the Zero Meridian is going to go. But El Hierro is still pretty much the western end of the world, at least the western end of the old world. And so, what does this have to do with the fact that they grow pineapples? Well, of course, the pineapple was imported from America to the Canary Islands, but why did they grow it commercially on El Hierro and not on the other islands? Well, you might know the most famous crop of the Canary Islands nowadays is the banana, the dwarf Cavendish banana. But the Canary Island tomato is also quite an important crop. The banana is growing, being grown mostly on the islands of Tenerife, La Palma and La Gomera, the islands which have the most ample water sources and the most clean water sources. Bananas need a lot of water and clean water. Islands with, which are very dry, very arid, and have mostly salty and low quality water, like Lanzarote and Fuerteventura, grow uh, more uh, tomatoes than bananas. Well, Lanzarote doesn't have commercial tomato plantations because they don't want greenhouses there. But Fuerteventura is growing mostly tomatoes. Gran Canaria is a dryish island with a goodish source of water, so they grow bananas and mostly tomatoes. The island of El Hierro, well, it's in the west, and it's quite a tall island, so it should have a lot of good quality rain, but somehow the mountains of the island, especially the high mountains of the island, are pretty small in size, so they cannot collect a lot of rain, so it seems there is not enough rain for a large-scale commercial banana cultivation. Also, they don't want to cultivate tomatoes on a large scale, firstly because they are bigger and flatter islands, which will outcompete them, and second, since El Hierro is the end of the world, transporting the tomatoes to islands like Tenerife, from where they can be transported to Europe, would take a lot of time, and it's not commercially feasible. So, the people of El Hierro devised the plan to grow pineapples on a commercial scale. Actually, immigrants from La Palma devised the idea to grow pineapples on a commercial scale. Why? The pineapple needs less, less water than the banana. The pineapple is 
easier to transport than uh, the tomato and most important of all it's something unique no other place in Europe or in the nearby islands grows pineapples on a commercial scale and so the tiny island of Iliero became the biggest pineapple producer of the EU those pineapples are quite small there are lots of small pineapples from Iliero but they also grow to the size of the normal pineapples you are used to in uh, European or North American grocery shops. The pineapples of Iliero are quite stocky. The small ones are usually very stocky like those or they can even be a little bit a little bit um, hamburger shaped. Those are a little bit hamburger shaped, a little bit flatter than round. But even when they have the size of the normal commercial pineapples, they will be about as big, well, the fleshy part will be about as big as this whole plant, they will still be stockier, thicker, plumper than the pineapples imported from like South America or Asia. I bought some small ones because I like sweet pineapples and small pineapples are usually just as old as the big ones. They have just grown with less water and are more sweet so I always take the smelliest pineapples. The color of the Canary Island pineapple is also quite reddish. This basically looks like a typical Canary Island pineapple, only the bigger, the big, the normal size ones will be about twice the size of this one. The yellowish golden color of this one is quite untypical. I bought it because of its nice ripe smell. However, it smells quite strange. This smells yeah, like a nice ripe pineapple, but this one smells different. This one smells more like some herbs and spices. Like some sweet spice mixture. Yeah, like uh, like cinnamon. It smells like cinnamon and... Yeah, it smells like gingerbread. Quite an interesting smell for a pineapple. Well, let's try those pineapples. First, let's try the typical, well, the kind of typical Canary Island or El Hierro pineapple. Oh, God. Yeah. So. Hmm. Quite a surprise. While the skin was bright red, the flesh is actually quite pale. And by the way, the pineapple is not a fruit, but basically this is a whole branch, that's why there are leaves on top. And the single fruit growing on this branch in this inflorescence have fused into one big clump. It's, I think it's called syncopium or something like that. Well, so let's try this pineapple inflorescence. Mm. Nice. Quite sweet, but almost no sourness. Well, the Canary Island pineapple it's grown in a subtropical climate. It's one of the coldest climate with outdoor commercial uh, pineapple production. I think it's the northernmost place in the world with the commercial pineapple production. So the pineapples are usually not very sweet or not very aromatic. This one is sweet enough. Not as sweet as a good tropical pineapple, but quite sweet. It's also quite aromatic, not as aromatic as a really aromatic pineapple. <coughs> but I think the sweetness <coughs> and the flavor are a lot more pronounced than they would normally be because it has almost no sourness. Quite a clever way, breathe out a lot of the sourness of the pineapple and the sweetness and the flavor, the lower sweetness and lower flavor in colder areas, developed in colder areas, will stand out more. Yeah, not bad. If it was really sour, it would not be sweet or flavorful enough. But this one is quite okay. Now let's try the strange gingerbread smelling pineapple. Seems to be juicier than the last one. And also a lot more yellow inside. Funny, I bought it from the same pile as this one. It's quite an unusual one. What is this? The outside looks mm, very different, and the insides too. 
let me show them to you again in a better light look at them wait let's turn them a little bit very different on the outside and very different on the inside the right one kind of the normal one reddish on the outside pale on the inside and the left one yellowish greenish on the outside and very dark yellow on the inside and also a smell of gingerbread now let's try this a rareish pineapple wow the taste is very different this must be some different variety or it must have grown in a very strange way it tastes well there is more sourness more sweetness and the flavor is more like a jelly palm fruit hmm totally different it's still almost in the range of normal pineapples maybe a little bit outside there are some dwarf pineapples or some pineapples in southeast asia which taste similar it's not very sweet for a pineapple it's more sour than the last one but the flavor is quite interesting this would be an interesting pineapple for more large-scale commercial cultivation uh, look out for the small yellowish pineapples maybe it is a different variety which got mixed up <clears throat> with the normal ones so folks this was quite a long video about the canary island pineapples but i think it was interesting enough also because of the historical and geographical implications stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the shops and markets of tenerife and sometimes from the pineapple pi uh, plantations of El Hierro. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.